Well, you were supposed to make this look hard, and you're not, so. Hey guys, Kat here from Standing Stone, and I have Bet with me. She is nine weeks old, and we have been doing a ton of clicker training with her. Uh, first we charged the clicker, then we worked on targeting. Um, she was really jumpy, so then I'm like, okay, what can I work on to eliminate some of that jumping behavior? So we worked on sit. Um, and a lot of people wonder if you should even teach a bird dog to sit. And we say, yes, absolutely, but you need to make sure that your puppy actually understands that sit means sit and can differentiate between cues. So Bet definitely knows how to sit, but she has become a super sitter. And what I mean by a super sitter is she sits for everything. And that can become a problem when we want to teach our bird dogs how to whoa, which is in essence just standing there on all four feet on the ground um, and not sitting. So we are going to work on rewarding her for that standing behavior just so that she can understand, hey, I can get rewarded for something else that isn't sitting. Um, she's getting a little impatient because I did a lot of talking here at the beginning of this uh, video. So we're going to get right into our training session here. So like I said, she's done a lot of targeting and she knows we're training. She also knows how to sit, but we are going to start working on, well, that made it way, way too easy, standing. I've been trying to, when I had been rewarding her for sitting, having her stand back up to receive that reward, even though I've marked the sit behavior, I want her to understand like, hey, I can get fed, not in a sitting position, to just show her and shape the behavior of something other than sitting. She's gotten a lot better at eating her kibble too. Um, she still drops them a couple times, uh, but she used to be the slowest little puppy eater. So doing really good. Focusing, eating, and all of our clicker training sessions. Good. Well, you were supposed to make this look hard and you're not, so. I'm going to keep rewarding her for standing there, which is the whoa behavior. I'm not introducing the cue yet because we literally are just starting to show her that she can get rewarded for exhibiting this behavior. I am looking at some eye contact and focus as well as uh, all four feet on the ground to make sure that I'm not preemptively marking her for like loading to jump at me or something or in like she's getting into a sit position. So here's that sit that she's been offering a ton of. So I want to get another standing to mark and reward. Good. She has been a smart little puppy though. We have not started any place training yet. Oh, well, there she is spilling her food all over the place. Here's an extra little kibble. We haven't started any place training or the kennel behavior at all with her dog beds. She knows how to get on a dog bed, but we haven't done any marking or rewarding for that. Good. Did you see she almost thought about sitting right then and she stopped herself, which is great. Good girl. I almost want to say that somebody was sneaking a training session in with my puppy, but I know that's not the case because Ethan wouldn't want my puppy to be doing so well since we're having a competition. Because we're raising litter mates, guys. The worst thing that you could ever do, but we decided to do it, and we're going to try and show people how to do it the right way, which is separate training sessions, basically raising the puppies completely separately. Um, but we're getting ready to do a check-in video where you guys can vote on whose puppy is doing a better job, who's training a better puppy. So be sure to check those out on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed, you should be subscribed so you get those notifications of when these new videos are coming out. 
awesome. And we're literally following right along with our online step-by-step -step dog training course for versatile dogs. So this is exactly what we recommend doing with our puppies, your puppy at home, to work on all of these behaviors. <laughs> nope, there's no water in there yet. You'll get water after training session. But Well, good job stopping way over there. I don't know if you could probably even see that. But she did stand up after she was trying to get some water. We'll finish her training session here, get her some water, and outside for another potty break. So she's back over to the water dish. So she's ready for some water. She was stopping and standing with all four feet on the ground, but like I mentioned, I wanted to see that eye contact, which she's doing way over there. Now she's gonna sit. What are you doing? <laughs> Silly little spunky. She decided to get marked for woeing over there. Then she sat and looked at me while I squatted down to offer her her reward after marking that woe behavior. Silly little puppy. Good girl. Good. Get my next handful of kibble out. She's still eating one cup of food in the morning and one cup of food in the evening for her training sessions. She's getting these all fed through clicker training sessions. And we're feeding the Yukonuba Premium Performance Puppy Pro. It's cool, it's shaped kind of like a little Cheerio. She and her sister eat these kibbles really well, doing a lot of crunching, which is good. Not just scarfing and swallowing it whole. So that's not what I'm looking for. So a little bit of my feet moving to get her feet moving so that we can get her back up <laughs> in that whoa behavior. She chose to do it on a dog bed, but I'm still gonna mark that. And then I'm gonna try and encourage her to get off the dog bed, come on. So we can do more of that out here so we can try and distinguish the behaviors of stopping and standing there, not in conjunction with having to be on a dog bed because these guys learn sequences and things really fast. So if she thinks that she has to be on a dog bed and standing there to get rewarded, that can become part of the like sequence and the um, process really quickly in their mind. Hey. Bet. What are you wandering for? More water or are you looking for an out? Come here. Come here. So she also knows how to target. So I incorporated a quick recall there. Going back to her water dish and she's looking like she may need a potty break. So as you saw in this session, she did really, really well already understanding that behavior of standing there with all four feet on the ground is something she can get rewarded for. I'm gonna scoop her up, bet. Distracted by my camera guy, bet. Here. So I had already put my clicker away. So we can't mark her for coming to me, but that was a good girl. But I'm gonna go ahead and um, go outside, get her a potty break, get her some water, finish a few more um, reps with her clicker training for her meal here, and then move on to um, the rest of our evening routine with her. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm Kat the Dog Trainer. This is Bet, and we will see you in her next video.